Hi, uh, I'm Megan. Uh, I head up the airline retailing team. Uh, we basically create and maintain rich content for our airline customers. And I'm Carrie, and I lead the channel retailing team, and our goal is to help you get your rich content in all the sales channels around the world at scale. And as Seth mentioned, we like to think of ourselves as the yin and the yang um, at ATPCO of airline retailing. Um, but we wouldn't be complete without our product partner, so shout out to Becky, um, Ellen, and Vic in the room today um, for helping us be the yin and the yang. Yep. So we work together really closely because the more airlines have great rich content, the more channels want to sign up for that rich content. The more channels we have with that rich content, the more airlines want to get their content out there. So this is why we work together in one nice virtuous cycle. So for those in the back of the room, you might not be able to see the, the cartoon that we have, but it says, the cost of the flight went up because you acknowledge its existence. You felt that way, yeah. So that's probably not a not so happy card, right? So a true story, this spring I was shopping for flights for my son and his fiance for their um, summer wedding and honeymoon. And they were flying from Dallas to Cancun and it was very expensive. So I'm like, mm, no, it's gotta go down. I've seen those prices before, that's way too high, I'm gonna wait. But every time I looked, the prices went higher and higher. And I ended up paying you know, around $200, $250 more per person than if I had just seen the value of that option the very first time that I shopped for it. So yesterday um, on the stage you heard lots of conversation from Bob, Gianni, and many of our panelists about the um, reshaping flight shopping and taking things to the next level. So today Megan and I would like to kind of share and show you the reality of retailing today um, and how we have the content available now. So with a, uh, we'd like to start with this, a quick, over, a quick overview of um, the, what we like to call our building blocks of retailing. Um, and we'll start with optional services and branded fares. And so you know optional services allows you to get um, all your ancillary price points and all your booking channels so that you can earn that revenue and attach your rich content to those um, ancillaries um, consistently. And of course, branded fares helps you create upsell uh, opportunities and drive customer loyalty um, through your commercially recognized products. Um, and then we can talk about amenities as well. So you see them on the bottom left corner. I think we've been talking about them already, but they um, are basically factual, very objective uh, descriptions of uh, the flight experience uh, that they're very easy to consume and integrate for sales channels. In addition, we have UTAs, which take that um, infamous uh, long list of terms and conditions that somebody was mentioning earlier and convert it into a uh, very uh, easy to consume, easy to read, uh, uh, fares and uh, benefits and restrictions of the fare, so allow you to really understand at a glance what's going on with your fare. And then finally we have our UPAs, so UTAs are universal ticket attributes, U UPAs are universal product attributes, and those bring together uh, media and marketing copy to really give you that more emotional understanding of what the flight experience will be like before you get on board and to help manage sort of customer expectations. So those are the building blocks, very flexible, that you can use. So one of the greatest things about these content types is how flexible and modular they are. So you can use one or all of them um, in, in during the booking process, so it just depends on if you're trying to um, give just a high level overview or you want to dig into the details or if you want to create a, more of a personalized experience um, you'll find that this content allows you to do all of that. And so to show you how you can use the content to connect with specific shoppers needs we're going to use, call upon a couple of our friends and colleagues uh, at Pico to, to hi highlight some of the things that they're looking for so that we can show you how this content can be tailored to each one of them. So we'll start with Nicole, if she could uh, share her story. Hi, good morning. My name is Nicole Park. I am the events manager here at ATPCO. 
Uh, so that means if you have any feedback about the food, I'm the person to come see. <laughs> but I think it's been pretty good so far. Yeah. We say, yeah, okay, yay, all right. <laughs> awesome. Um, but um, I want to introduce you to my family. So this is a picture of my husband, Sajin, um, my daughter, Aria, who's five, and my son, Ethan, who is two years old. Um, and so this is a picture from our beach vacation last year, and most of the time when we travel, we go to the beach or do like these little road trips or day trips, um, so my kids have never flown before. Um, but we are now talking about taking a two-week trip to Korea to visit my husband's extended family. Um, super excited, but definitely, you know, it's a long flight, kind of concerned about how we're going to bring all the toys for the kids, how we're going to bring gifts for the family, um, and just, you know, aside from all the normal luggage, um, and then like snacks and drinks and keeping the kids entertained so they don't have a meltdown on the flight, mm. get dirty looks from the other passengers. Um, <laughs> Um, but they are super, super excited about flying. Thanks, Nicole. So as uh, the, parent, uh, the parent of now uh, teenage twins, <laughs> I still am traumatized from those early days. <laughs> Not just the flying, but um, the planning actually was also traumatizing. Um, trying to figure out what she could get on board was even more difficult at the time. So as you see, Nicole's in a very specific situation. I think the message we'll drive home today is context, and again, sort of hitting on that personalization aspect a little bit. Um, but she's not the only person in her situation. We know that actually close to 80% are shopping for a, one flight a year or less. So um, a lot of people are not like most of the people in this room, as you know. Um, and then even for those who are traveling two to five times a year, uh, they're still finding the flight shopping experience stressful. So that's where we would like to step in and make things a little bit easier for everybody. So let's help Nicole figure this out. So coming back to our different product types, what are the kinds of things that she would look at and resonate with? So first of all, I think when you saw that Nicole stood up, she's not very tall, so why would pitch really matter? Well, it's back to the idea of if you have toddlers on your lap, all of a sudden that pitch really does matter uh, if you don't want them kicking the people in front of you. So she's gonna be looking at pitch. Um, she's also obviously going to want on-demand entertainment for her children because the electronic babysitter works, um, also very important. And as most of you with children know, they don't always stick to a meal schedule, so she's going to need to have access to food and snacks pretty much throughout the entire flight. So this is going to catch her attention. UTAs, no need to explain that seat selection, we basically really need Nicole to be able to select seats with her family. <laughs> we do not want to separate them. Um, and then she's going to need to be able to have both check bag and carry-on, um, carry-on being particularly important if you think about you know, the snacks, the food, the diapers, all that stuff, so big deal for her. Now let's talk about how we can connect with her a little bit more emotionally. Um, so this is a, a really lovely uh, UPA from uh, Emirates. I just love the caption. It says, boredom is grounded. With special meals, toys, and dedicated children's channels, we encourage curious minds and inspire tomorrow's explorers. Just sort of lovely to bring together that here's this family traveling together, they're already, you know, curiosity traveling, but that's just a, a really fun play that Emirates has done here. So that's something she'll definitely see and notice. Um, a wider screen also will help, uh, for sure. And this is one that's kind of interesting from Air Canada, talking about their air filtration system. So again, you know, when you travel, it always does seem you can get sick faster, and when you have little kids, they seem to get sicker faster than the rest of us. So I could see how Nicole would say, hey, that's actually really important to me. I want to have fresher air on the flight on that long flight to Korea. So just a couple examples. And now we have another guest of honor. Wherever he is, is going to tell us his story. I uh, looks like uh, Nicole is going to have a great vacation. Well, <laughs> for all the others who have to travel to work, most of the time fly on business travel, um, I'm interested to hear really how a retail is able to help me uh, plan my trips uh, in the most efficient way. Uh, my name is Sam. I'm the director ATP Co. based in Asia Pacific, based in Singapore. Um, I make about two, three trips a month um, and some of the trips back to Washington three or four times a year. And the prospect of flight changes, schedule changes uh, are always in the horizon. And it happens more often than I can count, right? So flight changes, schedule changes are actually uh, some of the challenges which I have to overcome. Uh, 
Uh, the other thing is that I care about the flight experience as well. Um, staying, spending a long time in a, in a lounge and in the airport is no joke. And I really value the miles and the lounge access. And last but not least, definitely I value my time if I'm able to spend my weekends home in Singapore. That's a bonus as well. All right. And we'll see what the ladies upstage are just able to help us with. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. And we can really appreciate um, and agree with you and relate to wanting to be home after being in the business so many years and, and traveling. Um, so, you could, so Sam is one of our corporate road warriors and travels at least twice a month. Um, he needs the flexibility, the reliability, comfort, and services for any travel that he takes. But he has one request, I think, which is probably to make it reasonably priced. So even road warriors um, find challenges when shopping for the best options. 52% of our survey respondents um, traveling more than six times a year struggle to find out what is included in their flight options. Um, and 45% of those did pay some unexpected um, fees. So what can we do for Sam? So how about we ensure he's aware of the fast Wi-Fi um, so that he could get his work done faster? Or how about clues about the seating, um, showing to him that he has the option for a full flat pod to maximize his sleep so that he's rested uh, and refreshed when he arrives at his destination? And what about that power um, information so that he does have work to do to prepare for his meetings when he arrives, um, that he doesn't lose valuable time with a dead laptop? Um, and now since flexibility was important, um, to make changes, so we want to highlight um, at a glance with our UTAs that change and cancellation restrictions are, are flexible and that he can get into the lounge without um, paying a fee. And of course, getting on early to settle into that comfortable seat that he wants, um, highlighting priority boarding would be awesome. But how do we really entice um, Sam? Because Sam hates waiting in lines, how about we show him imagery of the, the dedicated business check-in and how easy that's going to be for him. And since lounge access is also important to Sam, how about we show him what he can get in, in the lounge, like he can eat pre-flight and get a better night's sleep. Uh, and of course, showing him that seat, the seat comfort, and information about the, the bedding, um, will also entice him. And remember that I suggested that he might have some work to do um, before he arrives uh, in Auckland. So you could showcase the productivity he could have um, on his flight. So with just these four images, he'll have a better understanding of the experience that he'll have. Um, and it doesn't have to stop there. With UPAs, you can showcase anything. Um, so get those juices flowing and I ideas and value that you have on your flight and let's, let's sh show Sam and all the corporate road warriors out there. Mm -hmm. So next, let's meet Dari. Last but not least. Hi everyone, my name is Dari Brooks-Ahi and <laughs> I am a senior merchandising strategist on the airline retailing team for ATPCO. So as a kid, I always dreamt of being able to travel the world, and now as an adult, I'm finally able to live my dreams. Um, my husband Julian and I, that handsome guy up there, um, we are absolutely addicted to travel. Uh, we actually travel many times a year, and right now we not only enjoy going on our trips, but we actually enjoy planning them too. Um, and after a decade of traveling the world together um, and working in the industry, we both work in travel, we actually, we really know what we're doing here. So our next trip is to Egypt, Jordan, and Israel. So as you can all probably imagine, it's quite a complex itinerary. We've been working on it for a few months now and fortunately we're able to travel off peak. So that's been allowing us to be able to have a lot more flexibility. Um, now, while we used to fly economy quite happily, um, recently we've been acquiring a taste for comfort. So <laughs> with that, our overall aim is to create memories that we can look, on, look back on with joy. 
Thanks, Dari. Um, it's always fun to hear about Dari's travel plans. When I sit in the same office as her, I start to dream as well. Um, and it's really great because Dari actually created a lot of the UPAs that you saw today. It's a big part of her business. She's always thinking about how to bring the best um, aspects of our customers' flights to life. So, um, so very quickly, we're running out of time. Um, I think you've seen this stat before, 86% of travelers care of services, not just price and schedule. Um, and 78% of millennials would rather have uh, an incredible experience than an incredible possession, right? So for Dari and Julian, I think layout is something they really want to think about because they want to sit together, but really they don't want to sit with anybody else. Um, they want power for their devices, they want Wi-Fi so they can insta that picture we were talking about earlier of that cool plane. Um, and they want, you know, some fun food and beverage along the way. In terms of UTAs, they're going to want to have some flexibility because they're traveling to a less than stable part of the world, right? Um, and they're planning far ahead of time, so they have to have an out in case something happens. And they're going to be traveling long haul and short haul, so checked bag and carry on is going to be important to them. In terms of UPAs, they're coming from two very different spots in New York. Getting to the airport's quite a hassle, so they might buy that pass to the lounge so they can meet there in a more relaxed way to start off their trip. They will be catching up on the latest movies that they've missed because they're so busy the rest of the time, and Dari actually updates these every month for United. Um, it's the pre-reel uh, of what's on board. Uh, and then I could see Dari springing for a little surprise for Jillian. Um, this is a great UPA from Swiss, um, talking about how you can book a chocolate or champagne for your loved one on board. So that could be a fun way to get off to a good vacation. And uh, last but not least, unlike Nicole, as you probably saw, Dari is tall, Jillian is taller, and they are starting to appreciate comfort. So this um, Delta Comfort Plus UPA will certainly attract them. I'm going to hand it over to Carrie to wrap it up. Yeah, thanks. So you've seen um, just through these examples three very different travelers. Uh, each want different things. Nicole and family likely shop uh, with travel agents either traditional or, or online. And we, well, with the three GDSs and 25 OTAs live with some content today and more even to come, um, the better it's getting better and better. Um, and chances are that she's going to find just the right flight to support her and her family. And then um, with Sam, we haven't stopped. Um, our road warriors out there along with Sam um, will be the beneficiaries of a long list of corporate solutions that are growing. Today we have 13 um, with at least one type of rich content integrated and even more uh, options to come. And um, our super couple, Dari and, and Jillian, who are loving life, um, they're looking for the best deals out there quite frequently. So they're likely shopping the meta searches and maybe even their favorite airline uh, website. And well, we have quite a few of those as well, 14 meta searches and two um, airline websites using the content. So you can see across the board, um, there are some big names uh, on the list here. Uh, many of which are here today. So if you see them, um, let them know you really love what they're doing and that you can't wait to see um, where they continue to expand. And so to wrap up, I'd like to uh, introduce you to the airline and the channel retailing teams. These faces are in the crowd. Um, shout out, guys. We, we love you. Um, <laughs> airlines, if you're not already on board, get your content, talk with our airline uh, retailing team and sales channels. If you um, aren't in our pipeline of integrations to come and you want to be, stop by our booth, we're outside. We're happy to chat with you and get you all on your way to uh, retailing um, excellency. <laughs> and we'll even challenge you to next year, we're gonna have a retailing uh, awards. So we love to see what those retailing awards turn out to be from all of the great ideas that you've gathered today and run home to start working on. So go retailing. With that, I will introduce uh, my friend and colleague, Brenda Bartholik, mm -hmm. who's going to come share some information about pricing data. Mm -hmm.